there is essentially not much that can be done about changing the fact that somebody has a red face. Now, you can use cosmetic cover-up. There is a thing called a green color corrective. And you can go to a department store or even a, a, a pharmacy like Walgreens, that type of a place, and ask for something that will mask the red color. And if you combine green, a green tint of makeup with your red color, it'll have a flesh color tone to it. So you can, you can tone down the redness of the face by doing that. It doesn't solve the problem that you have a red face, but it will tone down its appearance. Now for the condition that I called acanthosis nigricans, remember that was the brown velvety kind of pigmentary change, most notable on the neck, under the arms, uh, sometimes over the knuckles of the hands, and sometimes in the groin area. This is a feature of having too much insulin. Your, your pancreas is not as developing too much insulin to solve your high blood sugar problem. And so one of the ways to improve this condition is weight loss, and you achieve that through diet and exercise. So that actually can be significantly improved. Now, there really isn't much you can do about the thickening of your hands or the fact that you can no longer close your hands to, from palm to palm, the so-called prayer sign that I mentioned. There isn't a whole lot you can do to change the fact that you have some thickened skin. Now, as far as infections, fungal infections of your fingernails and toenails, probably the best treatment is a medication that you take by mouth called terbinafine. This is commercially known as Lamisil. It's a pill that you take once a day. You would take it for six weeks for your fingernails or three months or longer for your toenails. And why would it be important for you to even worry about your nails? Well, the nails can be uh, distorted. They can make it difficult for you to put your socks over, uh, over your toenails. Uh, your, your, your fingernails may get in the way of doing fine, fine uh, work with picking up small items. And also, oftentimes, you get little cracks in the skin which then allow bacteria to get into the skin. And what you wind up with is a bacterial infection complicating your fungal infection. So I highly recommend that people that have fungus involvement of either fingernails and especially toenails be treated. And I recommend they be treated with this medication that you take by mouth called turbinafine. In addition to taking the medication by mouth, I also believe that you should use maintenance creams at minimum of three or four times a week to maintain the improvement you get from your oral medication. Now, as far as things on the lower legs are concerned, I mentioned several. One of them is di diabetic dermopathy. These the brown uh, depressed areas uh, on the anterior shins. There really isn't much that you can do about that. I also mentioned this condition called necrobiosis lipoidica. There are certain things that you can do. Normally we start out treating the edge of this lesion. It's usually located on both legs and it's usually the front part of the lower leg that's involved. I recommend that the edge of the area be treated. Usually the central part has become depressed in what we refer to as atrophic. And what that means is you can actually see blood vessels showing through the center part of this skin lesion. So you don't really want to be trying to make that any thinner than it already is. What you want to do is treat the edge so you prevent it from getting larger. 
Some of the things you can use are topical steroids. Now, the one that you can buy over the counter called hydrocortisone will not be strong enough. You, re you need a prescription steroid medication topically to apply to the edge of this skin lesion. Sometimes the uh, physician will inject the steroid with a very fine, small needle and inject the edge of these lesions. And for those of you that don't respond to that kind of treatment, there are some other, condition, uh, other ways to treat. Sometimes you can use certain types of lights. Sometimes there's a thing called narrowband UVB or UVA type lights. Personally, I don't think that they're very efficient or very effective. Sometimes you can take medicines by mouth that have an effect on your platelets, the things that help stop bleeding. Sometimes you can also use even one of the diabetes medicines. The one that you might be taking is called Actos or Pioglitazone. And for those of you that are so frustrated with this particular condition, you break down the skin, you form ulcers, and you, nothing seems to work, then my recommendation for you would be to see, an, uh, to see a physician that is willing to prescribe an infusion medication called Remicade or Infliximab.